aging is inevitable. But some wonder if there's a way to defy it. And while death is a natural process of life, is it possible to cheat death and never die? I am three days out from taking two gene therapies. One never performed in a human. In a secret medical procedure carried out in Bogota, Colombia, Liz Parrish was hoping for a cure. I'm okay, let's just do it. By all accounts, Liz is a healthy 44-year-old from the United States. She received dozens of experimental gene therapy injections in hopes that by reversing aging, she could help find a cure for her nine-year-old son's type one diabetes. We did testing all over my body, and it was hours and hours of injections. A lot of people ask, what does it look like? Uh, that's what it looks like. I feel like I've done my part. if we got something or not. This was 2015 when the experimental therapy reversed aging in mice, but was years away from being approved for human use. Today, aging researcher, Dr. Nir Barsalai, is studying clinical trials that use the diabetes drug metformin to directly target aging. We can delay it, and we can probably stop it, and, and in the future, maybe reverse it. We can do some of it now. Uh, we can certainly delay aging now, and not only delay aging, but delay aging with, with also drugs that are in human use now. Nier discovered this drug by chance when treating patients with type 2 diabetes. Yeah, let, let me see what we have here. And is eager to show it. Metformin has been highly prescribed for more than 50 years. It's cheap and effective even for non-diabetics. If you give it to people without diabetes, it will prevent diabetes. If you give it to people with diabetes, those on the drug will have less cardiovascular disease. They have much less cancer. When you give it to people with diabetes or without diabetes, they have less Alzheimer or cognitive decline. This drug, can probably increase health span by two, three years. Near so convinced the drug can combat aging, he started taking it himself. Every morning or every night. Any side effects? No. When it comes to aging, several clinical trials are currently underway to look at the response of metformin in combination with lifestyle interventions like exercise. Near is optimistic. It really will get all the pharmaceuticals to start developing drugs that will target aging rather than treatment for diseases that come with aging. Death is inevitable, but aging is not, not the way we have it now. At Harvard University, Professor David Sinclair also believes it's possible to unlock the fountain of youth and gene therapy is the key. One of David's students spent two years trying to correct the vision of a mouse using gene therapy. He finally achieved it. And he sent me photos of the eye regenerating, the nerves regrowing. In his text, he says, David, can you see what I sent? And I said, yeah, I can see it. He goes, yeah, what are you seeing? And I said, the future. David says when people hear about these kinds of breakthroughs, they immediately ask, when will it be ready for human use? Uh, many people are eager to use the research for their own health benefit. But I'm hoping that the public will realize that it does take a long time, and we can't just jump from a, a mouse to a human tomorrow. But people don't want to wait.
One person who refuses to wait is Liz Parrish. Look at it just cascading down. It's going on down to become leaf litter and then get decomposed. Oh, the fall is my favorite time of year. Liz is the founder of a small biotech startup called BioViva. In her 2015 procedure, Liz believes she received a more potent dose of gene therapy than any other person ever has. She was, in her own words, patient zero in the quest to fight the disease of aging. You don't do it to win a prize and you don't do it to try to kill yourself. But the disadvantage of that experimental treatment was the extreme risk to her own health. Someone in the company gets back to me and they said, well, one of our advisors gives you like 13 days to live. And I was like, okay, that could potentially be true. And I basically just started writing about, if you had the opportunity to help a lot of people, would you do it? We have taken a direct jab at death itself. Liz was hoping to keep the procedure to herself until she could see the effects either good or bad. But soon the secret was out. Press release comes out from someone else in the company saying that we've treated our first patient. And my life goes, oh my gosh. Suddenly I'm getting phone calls and being accused of treating a patient with a therapy that they couldn't possibly know what they were taking. And then I have to say it. I'm patient zero. <laughs> You're the first human to try this gene therapy, and it's safe to say that it's uh, fairly common. It's like a, a fairy tale, I think, and you sit there like a princess. With this fairy idea of, and a, of aging as a curable disease, it sounds like a narcissistic, wealthy baby boomers. A lot of people looked at me like I was crazy, but I think that, actually, I think it's crazy to do nothing. Most experts dismissed her procedure and cautioned others from doing the same. But Liz remains healthy and committed. I'm 100% aware of what I've participated in. And I'm 100% aware that the outcome of that test is going to change the world. I'll do it again. I will do it over and over again. Uh, for the rest of my life, I will be planning my next gene therapies. Although gene therapy is a promising treatment option for a number of diseases, it's currently being tested only for diseases that have no other cures. As for Liz, some believe she will one day be considered a pioneer in a field on the verge of a revolution. There's this underlying skepticism that slows the whole process down. We have to put ourselves out there now to be criticized because in the future, it's gonna make perfect sense. <laughs>